So what I didn't want to happen, happened. Rain came in around midnight. We are starting out here today, day one or night one in the dark, just outside of base camp. Currently on the edge of a rather large field um, that was once filled with corn. Alas, that's long gone. Speaking of base camp, it is there that we have bags upon bags stored away. We have a bag of food, a bag of clothes and a bag of gear, all safely nestled away under the basher. So if and when we need to have a wash, get some fresh clothes, some food, some new gear, it is there and uh, we will return if we need it. So welcome to night one of three. I'm currently nestled under this nice big oak tree as I'm trying to avoid the rain. It's still early days. It is dark, but it's only about 6.30. So uh, I'm gonna be waiting for a little while before we go and get set up. We've got a nice bit of moonshine tonight, not the alcohol, although I'm sure that would be pretty warming right now. But it's, uh, yeah, the whole area is lit up. So it's nice to be able to see um, our way without needing a torch. Of course, not the one that's shining in my face, making me not see nothing right now. However, how long that moonshine is gonna last, who knows? Forecast predicts rain tonight um, and rain all day tomorrow so as long as we don't get too wet like today on day one then uh I'm, I'm pleased with that but to get wet today and then have to go two more days that would be a uh, not the most pleasant experience we've got to change the clothes but still with the cold and the wet it's just no i'd rather not So we're now in the field just behind the hedge. The other side of the hedge is a little country road. Uh, doesn't seem to be used that much, but uh, we'll still be uh, laying down out in the way just in case. Almost as soon as we laid out the bivvy, Big van comes flying past. Typical. So I don't need to worry about dinner tonight. I already had that before we came out. Lots of stars out there tonight. Clear sky. Don't know where this uh, rain is, but uh, yeah, it's a lovely sky. But it also means it's gonna be a cold one. So I'm definitely dressed for it. Our primary sleep system for the next three days is the Snug Pack Sleeper Zero sleeping bag with the Highlander Hawk bivvy bag and just a generic foam roll mat. But as generic as it is, it's bulletproof. I've been through dense brush with it during the summertime, strapped to the outside of my pack and it's came out unscathed. Now, it's not gonna puncture. Definitely not gonna puncture. It's not the most comfortable, but yeah, it, it, it's gonna do the job. Ain't nothing like a bit of cowboy camping to start out these three days. Camping in the woods is great, but you don't get that big sky like you get out here. So I'm ready for sleep. I'm in the bivvy, ready to go for tomorrow. Where we will go, I do not know. But uh, wherever it is, we'll get there. So I'll catch you guys for the coffee. So what I didn't want to happen, happened. Rain came in around midnight. I was uh, in and out of sleep from midnight to four o'clock in the morning. At five o'clock, the rain stopped and I've just retreated back under the oak tree, damp. It's just penetrated straight through the, the material of the Highlander Hawk. It's not fucking ideal, not, not on the first day. So we're gonna spend a lot of time at base camp today trying to 
dry everything. Good start, good start. Playing a pretty risky game here at the moment and I would not suggest to try it, but I need to get this sleeping bag dry. So what happened was normally I put the roll mat inside the bivy bag with me, but in regards to the Highlander Hawk bivy bag, it's very tight space. So I've slept in there with a roll mat with me before. And when I've gone to lay on my side, the roll mat has gone with me and it's been on my back and my side has been on the cold hard ground. So with the Highlander Hawk, I put the roll mat just outside beneath the bivy bag. It started to rain last night and all the little divots in the roll mat collected water and as it rained I turned over onto my stomach because of the, the bug mesh rain was getting through there and as I turned over onto my stomach I put weight on the bivy bag onto the wet roll mat and it started seeping through the material of the Highlander Hawk bivy bag which we are now drying out it's soaked It's a bit of a blustery one today, a bit of drizzle and a bit of cold. Welcome to day two of our style camping adventure, seven days, seven different locations. But today we're here at the creek. We've got a few hours before nightfall, so uh, we're gonna be scouting around and seeing where best appropriate to uh, pitch ourselves up tonight. So there's a couple of things we need to keep in mind on this day, day two here at the creek. Uh, number one being, I don't wanna be anywhere near this creek when the tide comes in being a tidal river if it's high tide the whole area floods so i want to be at a higher elevation than i am now the second thing to keep in mind is it's super blustery today prominent southwesterly winds and you could tell that by the grass being folded over so ideally i want to be on the other side of this ridge it gives me a bit of wind protection the wind and rain is getting a bit worse right now, but on a positive side of things, I think I found ourselves a little place to pitch camp. It's a bit tight between two logs, um, but the advantage that it gives me is I can use this poncho and throw it up and give us a bit more cover, keep us dry. Got to wait for it to get dark and then, uh, then we'll get our poncho up. I really want a coffee right now, but I've got a ration of water. Got just under half uh, a two litre bottle left, and I've got to have some for my dinner later and coffee later. So we're going to have to pick some more water up tomorrow from somewhere. So for now, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this lovely weather, and uh, yeah. Enjoy, enjoy the view, it, it's still a nice view. It's a funny thing really, all the aches and pains that you gather throughout your life, when it gets cold, they let you know about it. For example, I, I broke my big toe and uh, now it's cold. It's feeling numb. So I still think it's a bit too early to be flying the tarp at the moment. It's dark, it's 5.30, so that still means there's a strong possibility of dog walkers. Uh, so we're gonna hold off for a bit longer. I'm not gonna lie, these conditions do make stuff a lot tougher. I was gonna reach in my bag for a bag of peanuts, but everything's gonna get wet. I'm just, I just, no, I'm not gonna just make everything wet for a bag of peanuts, even though peanuts make everything better.
so we've got our poncho up now uh just cause i wanted to take it off i just wanted to sit down and just get my bag under here get everything under here get everything in a dry area uh so i'll be lowering it before we go to bed but we got that up so uh now it's time for a coffee got our gas bottle here insulated in a sock stop it from getting too cold so it can work nicely I need this coffee. I think I was up about five this morning. And uh, so, yeah, I've been pretty much dozing off all day. So for tonight's dinner, we have some cheese and broccoli flavored pasta. It's supposed to add milk and butter to the water, but you know what, we ain't got that. So we're just having water with it. So. At this point, I don't even really feel like dinner. I've got a mad headache. Uh, I kind of just want to go to sleep. It's only about eight o'clock, but uh, still need to be vigilant. Still need to be aware, keep an eye out. And uh, so hopefully this little uh, boost in calories will sort me out there. Yeah, now I see why they say add milk and butter. About 9.30, about to bed down. Um, expecting some heavy rain around four o'clock in the morning. Should be fine though. And this is why you should always carry a poncho with you. Uh, they're lightweight, compact, versatile. Where you can't have a tarp or a tarp is inappropriate or takes up too much space or, or whatever the reason, then uh, the poncho is to go to. So I'm going to bed down and I'll see you guys in the morning. Currently 7 o'clock in the morning, woke up at 6 this morning. Had a bit of sleep. Woke up a few times as you do, had a look around. All was clear, rain is forecast for most of the day. So I, I, I think I'm gonna hold tight here for as long as possible and uh, try to have a coffee because the gas stove just doesn't wanna work this morning. I don't know why. So that, that's, that's the first task of the day. So no luck on a gas stove front. Just uh, There's no gas being pushed through I can't hear the gas coming through so I think we're gonna have to head back to base camp get ourselves a little fire going dry off a bit this jacket it's waterproof but it's soaked and so it's it's dripping on me and making me soaked as well so we're gonna go back have fire dry off look at the gas stove again and if that's just not happening we're gonna have to uh, come up with another method of cooking so I'm still gonna hold out here for a bit longer because I just I'm not fancying going out in this right now so we'll hold out here for as long as we can and then we'll head back to base camp and try to get dry So this isn't actually the stream. The stream is behind it, just over there. So, wow. It's rather a lot of rain we've had. And just recently I read an article about the hose pipe being, being enforced until April, 2023. So what's the agenda? Back at base camp now, got the last of our water heating up the old fashioned way. Uh, when I began this channel, it was originally called Sooty Fingers and uh, so it looks like we're back to that. In my tiredness this morning when I went to use the gas stove and it worked for a couple of minutes, 
and I had to pot the Stanley cook set on the uh, stove itself, I didn't realize that I'd left my cup inside the cook set. So it started cooking. And I've also managed to lose the stuff sack from my sleeping bag. Have no idea how. It was there last night and it was gone this morning. So I've left my sleeping bag in the bivy bag, uh, which in a lot of ways makes sense. I can just pull it out, lay it down, go to sleep. So I'm pretty much all dried off now. I'm going to enjoy this coffee and then we're gonna get some snacks in the bag, get a little more organized, get something in there for dinner tonight. And then we'll be heading out, getting some water, maybe a few more snacks, and then looking for our destination for the night. So where are we up to? Well, the rain is back and I'm putting everything inside our waterproof bag, which was originally the food bag, but it just makes more sense for me to use a waterproof bag, especially in conditions like this. But we're not moving from here until the rain stops. I don't think we'll have an issue if it rains tonight. It's obviously still very early, so we're not gonna be setting up anytime soon, but uh, yeah, I think we'll be nice and cozy right up out under there. It's even got its own artwork. Don't know what it says or what it represents, but uh, graffiti wise, it's not bad at all, considering how old this must be. So. We'll be back there when it gets a bit darker or when it starts to rain again. So just to give you guys a quick update, we've been issued a weather warning, a yellow warning of wind and rain between the hours of 6 p.m. and 12 a.m. tonight. Jolly good fun. absolutely covered from the rain and uh, it's dinner time. Cooking ourselves up some tortelloni, cheese and tomato. Absolutely awesome camping food. It's delicious. Simply throw it in the water and let it boil up, get hot and eat. So I can't imagine why anyone would be coming around here at this time. I mean, down there is a dead end. So uh, I think we're good. We've got set up. I've got the bivy on the floor, roll mat underneath it, because at least now we're out of the rain. I've got PTSD from there. It took hours to dry, hours and a lot of firewood. Now I've got some feet to aerate, and I'm not even going to film that. Imagine that three days of damp footwear, looking like uh, painful prunes. So I woke up super late today, put my head outside of the bivy and saw it light outside. You've never seen me pack away quicker. It's been quite a few days, cold, wet, rainy, damp, a few days, everything's damp, I'm damp. You don't even want to see the state of my feet getting like trench foot. My gas stove broke, I mounted my Stanley cook set cup, lost my stuff sack, lost my tripod. So as I'm heading back to base camp, I'm thinking, you know, everybody's talking about the good old days, right? Everybody, the good old days, the good old days. Well, let's talk about the good old days. Come to think of it as, as bad as you think they are now, these will become the good old days for our children. So why don't we uh, try to remember 
the kind of September when life was slow and all so mellow.